Hello and welcome to Daily News Analysis by Abhit Shiksha. Today is 24th of January 2023 and we are bringing you this, this list for you today. You can go through this once. Okay, let's begin with the first slide. The first slide is our important days. So we have two important days. That is International Day of Education first. We'll cover this. So International Day of Education. It was started after the UN General Assembly passed a resolution on December 2018. So UN General Assembly passed a resolution on 2018. Then since 2019, we are celebrating International Day of Education. Okay. Right. Just one second. Yeah. So 2023 theme, the, this year's theme is invest in people, invest in people and prioritize prioritize education okay so this is the theme for 2023 and the next important day is girl child day this is national girl child day so this has been in celebration since 2008 it was launched or organized first by ministry of women and child development okay since 2008 moving on we have this news from PIB that is from the office of election commission so election commission of india has hosted this second international conference on use of technology and elections integrity right so it included 16 countries and the members and the heads, deputy heads, heads and deputy heads of nine election management bodies. Okay. Now, Mauritius, Greece and international organization, IFES, uh, they were the co-leads for the session. Now, this is in terms of the theme that was use of technology and elections integrity so this is the theme as well theme for the conference okay so what were the issues they were they were targeting so they were targeting um, mainly threats from the fake uh, the fake technology in elections and worldwide in india and worldwide then use of social media platforms and their algorithm power and AI to detect uh, the fakes. So they were mostly talking about this themes. Okay, let's move on to the next news that is from Ministry of Defense. So this is commissioning of Wagir, the fifth Calvary class submarine of Indian Navy. So we have already discussed about it in the previous uh, news analysis also, but if we have to remember, this is part of India Navy's project 75 and make in india initiative now this will this submarine will form part of western naval compound command and then it is a stealth submarine that has a long range guided torpedoes and as well as it will serve as an anti ship missiles right so this has been built by matsgao dock shipbuilders limited mumbai under the collaboration of ms naval group of france so this is the fifth scorpion class that is the french french class french origin uh, scorpion class submarines so this is the fifth the last one the sixth and the last one of scorpion class will be vakshir which is already being in the uh, undergoing sea trials and they are saying that it will be delivered by 2024 okay then the next news is from ministry of information and broadcasting so sco film festival will be organized in mumbai from 27 to 31st january 2023 then under that 57 films will be showcased under competition and non-competition sections 
then Indian movies, one Marathi movie called Godavari and one Gujarati movie, the last film show has been nominated under the competition section from India. Now about SEO, this is the logo of SEO, you can see. So SEO stands for Shanghai Corporation, uh, Shanghai, Co Shanghai Corporation Organization, right? So SEO is a multilateral organization which was established on 15 June 2001. Now SEO has currently eight member states, China, India, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Russia, Pakistan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan and three observer states like Belarus, Iran and Mongolia and 14 dialogue partners. Here you can see Armenia, Azerbaijan, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Egypt, South Korea, Qatar, Bahrain, Kuwait, Maldives, Myanmar, UAE and Turkey. Okay. Now SCO's headquarter is in Beijing. So though it's named uh, Shanghai Corporation, uh, its headquarter is in Beijing. The next news is on India Energy Week 2023. So Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas, they are organizing this India Energy Week in Guwahati. Okay, so the ministers who, the Indian Minister of Petroleum and Gas, Sri Hardeep Singh Puri and Chief Minister of Assam, they will inaugurate this uh, in India Energy Week. Alright, so... What are the themes or what are the things they are inaugurating basically? So the NRL office, the corporate office building of NRL, that is Normal Legal Refinery Limited, which is in GS Road in the heart of Guwahati, will be inaugurated. Then they are they will interact with farmers who are supplying bamboo so that we have uh, the government of Assam and NRL has signed a memorandum of understanding to set up three bamboo nurseries for what? Four, uh, increase the number of saplings and this nurseries will be set up here. Golaghat, Nogao and Sonitpur so that there is a large production of bamboos in the state. Then bamboo is also known as green gold we know. Okay, So bamboo absorbs a lot of carbon dioxide from air and releases oxygen into the air wheel. So as bamboo grows fast it is also an excellent means to create carbon sink, right? So this, uh, th that is why the bamboo nurseries will be set up and that is why there will be interaction with farmers to monetize their um, bamboo plantations. Okay, so the, this, again there, there is one more thing they are flagging off, this is the Bicozy. So Bicozy is a startup a hyper -lo local logistics startup you might have seen around Guwahati those small uh, e-bikes so it has been supported by NRL this startup so the startup aims to empower and equip economically marginalized communities communities with a range of job opportunities and what sector this is hyper local what do you understand by hyper local basically in a small area okay so this is an eco-friendly venture by Cozy right so this will help um, environmental factors in environmental factors such as climate change then unplanned urbanization which is rampant in Guwahati city then increasing pollution rents which is also increasing in Guwahati city so this will impact uh, this will reduce all this right the main aim of this energy week is to move towards sustainable sustainable energy sources Right, which we already have discussed yesterday also that since in 2021 our Prime Minister have said that by 2070 India will be a net zero emission country okay let's move on now this is from again uh, this is this news is from Hindu so Assam to book marrying girls below 14 so under POSCO Act Right. So what is POSCO Act? POSCO Act came into effect on 14th November 2012. Now this was a consequence to India's ratification of the UN Convention on the Rights of Child in 1992. Because of this ratification, the POSCO Act was established. Now the aim of the POSCO Act is to 
address offenses of sexual exploitation and sexual abuse of children. So children not only includes girls but also include boys. So remember this. Now in the news they are saying that according to the National Family Health Survey number 5 report they stated that the average 31.8% of girls in Assam get married at the prohibited age and 11.7% of them become mothers before adulthood. So to curve this, the Assam government is suggesting stringent laws that will imprison two years to life those who marry minor girls under the Puxco Act. So now the legal age for marriage is 18 years and for women and for men it's 21 years. So this is POSCO Act and the laws approved by Assam cabinet. More like if we have to see the news today, so there are a lot of key decisions made by Assam cabinet today. So this is one of them. POSCO was one of them. Now this, this news taken from Assam Tribune includes the other ones. So here we'll move one by one. So the first they're targeting is to, you know, a 3% annual increment for casual workers, casual and similarly placed workers. So 3% increment for casual workers. That is the first uh, decisions. First decision, casual workers. Who are working in the state government working under state government right so this is the first uh, decisions they made that there will be a three percent increment in their salary of casual workers now the second one is so this will benefit around 18 18,400 workers right now the second is mm, unarmed police non-gadgeted police of personnel from both unarmed branch and armed branch who were permanently injured in the line of duty will be exempted from going undergoing the mandatory pre-promotion cadre course so there is a course pre-promotion cadre course which uh, officers take to get promotion so they will be exempted so those officer ungadgeted officer right non-gadgeted officers non-gadgeted officers injured in line of duty then exemption from pre-promotion course okay this is the second decision the third decision is empowering DGP of Assam to effect promotion of such police personnel so now dgp can promote these officers the above officers okay above personnel the fourth decision they are taking is establishment of srimanta shankardev chair at gnu delhi which is jawaharlal nehru university delhi so fourth decision is Srimanta Shankardev Shankardev chair at JNU Delhi okay to study what to study the life of Shankardev and the state's bhakti movement then the fifth decision they have taken is establishment of ITIs in unused buildings unused buildings and government land unused government land okay here ITS that will be on PPP mode which is private partnership okay then th the sixth decision to make a common platform common common platform for all skill development initiatives skill development initiatives in the state will have a common platform for entrepreneurs and 
unemployment youth okay so here you can see common platform the seventh decision is here high performance sports training rehabilitation centers in guwahati and jorhat so for sports centers high performance sports center at guwahati and jorhat for sporting uh, activities sporting potential and athletes then eighth decision is to set uh, to you uh, to set up any sporting infrastructure cabinet approval has to be made cabinet approval for sports infra okay so that there is no arbitrary uh, leasing and uh, there is no halt in the sports infrastructure okay uh, finally the last decision was that to pay homage to martyrs all the go the government chief minister and senior officials of the state will visit the national war memorial in new delhi on march 18 so that was uh, these are the key decisions that was made in the Assam cabinet meeting. Coming to the next segment, uh, this is BSF camel contingent. So this will be fully women, women personnel at Republic Day Parade. So this is a first, first that is women personnel will be part of BSF camel contingent for the first time. Okay. Also in the Republic Day, the 21 gun salil which is which has uh, it was always previously used by this vintage british 225 mm pounder guns it will be replaced with 105 mm indian field guns which is made in india we have already discussed this in the previous videos then on the other side see uh, the ongoing saga of wrestlers charges on um, Wrestling Federation India president. So, Union Ministry of Sports have appointed this Maricom led five member oversight committee, committee to investigate the charges. Okay, so let's hope and see what's the outcome. And finally, we have this from the culture point of view that is this monastic festival, Torge is celebrated at Tawang. So Torge is a monastic festival of whom? The Monpa tribe. Monpa tribe of Tawang district in Arunachal Pradesh. Okay, the festival starts from 28th day of the 11th lunar month according to the lunar month of there. And this year it was celebrated from January 20 to 22. Okay. Now, this is to pay respect it is celebrated by Mohan Patrai to pay homage to Lama, Songkhapa and chase away evil spirits okay, that ushers in diseases, misfortunes and natural calamities. So in terms of cultural point of view, this is something animistic. The word is animistic features. Okay. So you can see this image, colorful uh, dresses with masks. So this is the Cham dance. So Cham dance, where is it? Where is it from? So you can say Arunachal Pradesh, Cham. Cham dance, right? Now, this colorful three day festival is, this is the main feature of the festival the when this lamas also dance lamas are the monks wearing different costumes and masks so they perform soulful dance to the music with drums and cymbals okay all right this brings us to today's news analysis we hope you are enjoying the series so the pdf will be available in our telegram channel so thank you for joining this session we'll see you soon